Thanks for joining me again uh, this uh, morning, evening, wherever, whatever time it is, wherever you are. Uh, about a week ago, we dealt with how we need to light the way of our lives. And God provides a means of that to happen for us in the Word, in the Bible. And uh, we looked at Psalm 119, verse 105. We're going to look at the second part of that verse in a few moments. I'm so glad you've joined me today. My name is Kwame Rubadiri, and you are watching CTM Church Online. The second part of this very well-known passage of Scripture, this well-known verse, your word is a lamp to my feet. The second part of that verse says that your, uh, it is also a light to my path. Now, path, of course, is not just a couple of steps that you can see around you. It is a journey. It is a, uh, a, a distinctive road that lies ahead of you. And the Bible is not only a lamp to where you stand and where you start, but it is also a light to the journey that you will take along with you. So don't just use the Bible to give you direction. Don't make it feel as if, oh, I need to hear uh, the man of God prophesy over, the woman of God prophesy over my life. And you receive that word in one prayer meeting or in, 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 in one encounter uh, with the servant of the Lord. Uh, but you don't seek God to show you more. You don't ask God as you pray the next day or the next week, what am I supposed to do with this? How am I supposed to position myself? How am I supposed to behave to make what you have said through your servant a reality in my life. That means that we should continually go back to the word of God. It must light the path ahead of us. It must be, a light, we must have light for next week, for next month, for next year. And we only do that by taking time to consistently be in the word of God and making it a part of our lives. In order for you to truly see and benefit from the light of God's word for the rest of the journey, even if it's just the next week or the next month, you need to be in the Word of God because it becomes that light that shines the path and shows us this is where you take the next step. This is where the power of God is going to lead you into greater success. So don't just read the Word today. Don't just take it at face value because you've heard it in a prayer meeting. Keep reading, keep studying, keep asking questions, keep bringing it before God and keep listening for His direction for every step of the journey. God bless you.